In 1928, something extraordinary happened, not in a grand hall of science, but in a messy London lab. Alexander Fleming, a tired bacteriologist, returned from vacation to find a petri dish he had accidentally left out. It was covered in mold, but around that mold, the deadly bacteria had vanished. Where most would have just cleaned the mess, Fleming looked closer. That mold was Penicillium notatum, and it would change the world forever. But here's the twist no one tells you. Fleming couldn't turn it into medicine. For more than a decade, his discovery remained a dusty note in scientific journals. It wasn't until World War II, when two unsung heroes, Howard Florey and Ernst Chain, picked up where he left off. Working under Nazi bombing raids and rationed resources, they searched markets for moldy fruits. And guess what? The most potent strain of penicillium was found on a rotting cantaloupe in Peoria, Illinois. That spoiled fruit helped mass-produce penicillin, saving over 200 million lives. Soldiers on the battlefield, children with infections, women during childbirth, all rescued because of a moldy accident. What if Fleming had cleaned that dish? What if no one gave that cantaloupe a second glance? This is the magic of curiosity and the power of mistakes. So next time you mess up, remember, your accident might just change the world. Enjoyed this? Then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Historian Idiot, where 